Phosphorus is an important plant nutrient and is present in most common fertilizers that are sold. This bag has an analysis of 10, 10, 10, which nitrogen is the first number, phosphorus is the second number, and potassium is the third number. So this bag contains an analysis of 10% phosphorus. The problem with, with phosphorus is that it, it binds very tightly to soil particles and does not leach through the soil very quickly, which means phosphorus can actually build up in the soil to excessive levels very easily. Excessive phosphorus buildup in the soil is actually a cause for concern when we run into situations with large erosion and runoff, especially in our watersheds and waterways. In Kansas soils, we often find that phosphorus exists in abundance, so it's becoming very important for homeowners to consider whether or not phosphorus is actually needed in their soil. For homeowners, it's important to have a soil test done every two to three years to keep tabs on the amount of phosphorus in your soil. It's actually a big myth that we need a lot of phosphorus to get great flowers and to grow big plants. Phosphorus does play an important part, but new research has shown that nitrogen is a far more important nutrient to consider when we fertilize. This simply means that when homeowners go to shop for phosphorus fertilizers, it's important to look for fertilizers that contain low or no phosphorus. This fertilizer here is an example of an excellent fertilizer for most common home use. The nitrogen number is a lot larger than the other two numbers, and typically when you go to shop for fertilizer, that's what you need to look for. If you've got that, you've got a pretty safe bet that this fertilizer will work well in your soil. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.